Utah Valley University is turning 75 years old. Happy 75th birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Happy birthday UVU. Utah Valley University was born in 1941. The name of the school, Utah Central Vocational School. The founding president, Hiram E. Johnson. Four years later, time for a new president. The man, Wilson W. Sorensen. It took a thousand years to get its first 20 students. I think I said that wrong. It took 20 years to get its first 1,000 students. In 1963, they changed the name to Utah Technical Trade Institute. In 1967, a name changed. It became Utah Technical College at Provo. And at this time, they started offering associate's degrees. That's two years in school, for those who don't know, which was me. In 1982, President Sorensen retires after 37 years of service. New school president, J. Marvin Higby. What's he gonna do? How can he possibly build upon this legacy? <laughs> you wait and see. The only person to be president twice, Lucille T. Stoddard. She was part of the university's next big step. So in 1987, it became Utah Valley Community College, which meant it's time for a new president, Carrie D. Romansburg. What was he gonna do with the school? Oh man, I can't tell you how many times I've kissed a pig. <laughs> Literally. It's now 1993 and you're probably asking yourself, why haven't they changed the name of the school yet? Well, they did. It then became Utah Valley State College. By 1991, 8,700 students were attending the school. By 2002, 23,000. Time for a new president. In steps William A. Cedarberg. What's he gonna do? <laughs> what isn't President Cedarberg gonna do? That's the bigger question. In 2008, so much was going on, they needed somebody to step up, and that was Elizabeth J. Hitch. So in 2008, they became Utah Valley University. How do you become the largest school in the state? You bring in Matthew S. Holland. President Holland has talked about what an amazing past we've had here, and how it's pretty darn good today. But what about the future? Can a president really be that cool? Because apparently Matthew S. Holland is all that in a bag of Snickers, or potato chips. He is a fantastic leader for us because he's so dynamic, he's so driven, he's so passionate. He really like cares about you. Supportive of all the students. Smiles a lot. First days of school, he'll be out in the hallways helping direct traffic, helping students find their classrooms. We should uh, write him in as President of the United States. <laughs> Come join us for the public unveiling of UVU's 75th anniversary painting. March 28th at 11 a.m. Center Stage. Oh man, it's gonna be fun, fun, fun. Coloring contest, oh, I'm gonna be there. So is he. You gotta show me what a ferocious wolverine looks like. Come on. That's combination cougar wolverine, because we know they get along so well. That is a ferocious miming wolverine. Yeah, I, I parked somewhere up by University Mall, I think. We should get there in about three hours. <laughs>